Good morning, Quarantine 2020. What is going on, friends? Welcome in to twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Let's play of Resident Evil 3 here on Super Mercado Bros. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. It is 841 here in the beautiful city of Chicago. Hope you guys are all being safe and sound. Let's start our Thursday with a little zombie killing action. And I hope uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Let's get to it. No time to waste. No time to waste. We want the smoke. We want the smoke. All right, get the vaccine. And if you guys miss any of the last uh, few playthroughs and any of our Let's Plays, make sure you guys go to youtube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network. You guys can catch up to all of them over there, along with our podcast, wherever you get your favorite podcast, at Mercado Airwaves. Check us out, guys. All right. That's right. Now we got to follow dude. Ooh. Nice. Sick. I, I know I don't have any health, right? This dude has to turn on us, right? We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yeah, it won't let me run. Sir, oh no. Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. Oh no! Oh no! This is a dick. What's under there? Oh no. Oh, cool. Let's see. A railroad use cases which raise arise, excuse me, as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the needed for T virus vaccines and new weapon capable of suppressing bioweapons or care could be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulation without fail, in particular on authorized entry by unapproved visitors or removal of work related data or materials, but with severe disciplinary measures. They're gonna shoot your ass. Okay. Oh, nice. That's what I needed. 
That's what old girl needed. There we go. What's it gonna make? What do two high grades make? No, I wanna combine it. Yeah. That's really fun. Oh, guys, I want to remind you, too, if you're looking for some new podcasts, The Good Brother and I have put out a new episode of The Quarantine Files, brought to you by The Good Brothers, wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves. We did our top five jerseys. Check it, check it out. Let us know what you guys think. What's your favorite jersey? Which one do you like wearing? Which one do you look? Things look better on TV, so on and so forth. It was a fun conversation. I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, so going in there is going to be hell. And later on today, actually, the NFL draft, the first round, a very unique one here during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Should be interesting to see how that plays out. But we will be having NFL experts and scouting guru Christian Simpson later on today. We will be doing an interview that will drop for all you to listen to and hopefully get something out of. Oh no. I have no ammo. What are the chances this guy is not dead? Bastard. Oh, there you go. There he is. Get his ass. Get his ass. Get his ass. Get his ass. Uh, I spilled my coffee. Damn it, guys. I'm a noob. Ah, damn it. That's what I get. Ah, come on. Oh, damn it. Now I have no choice but to shoot his ass. Ugh. Should have just done that from the beginning, big dummy. That's what I get for trying to be cute. Yeah, thank you. Give me one second, guys. I spilled my cafecito because I'm a dork. Give me one second. You guys can hear me walk to my kitchen, grab a napkin. Okay. You guys are watching, listen to a lifetime as a dork who's playing video games on a Thursday morning, spills coffee. And uh, well, since I'm here, I might as well take this opportunity for a little break as well. Uncle Mike's break. Don't call me Uncle Mike, though. Give me one second, guys. some more gunpowder I'm 
Okay. That guy's definitely coming to live though at some point as a uh an event. Oh here we go. Produce immune response. Not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also potentially a way to eliminate existing infections. Yeah, all these dudes are gonna come to life. Son of a bitch. So now I'm gonna have to find the materials. I know I can't from this way. Okay, so I don't want to go that way. That's the sterilization. Let's retrace the steps. This is the safe room. We've already cleared this. It has to be something up here then. Fuck this dude. Oh, what's this? That's pretty good. Most important, they promised me I'd be contributing to state of the art medical tech research for university teachers. Like working in nowhere, America it was a cold opportunity. Like, honorary, so I went for it and made the pitch. Well, I said it's funny because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's my stuff, the world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey, I immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas, fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told for their sake, but let this be testament that I, that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Okay, there was a, there's a door over there. Pretty sure they didn't have those when 1998 when this came out. It was creative license. fighting in here Those are body bags. Oh no. Damn, 
damn, there's a bunch of them there. Oh, man. Nice. That's what I needed. Hey, it's this guy. Alright, let's see. Request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioware of this team be available for any place in interfacing with the admission. Uh, this is the the same levels of danger as our bioweb products, but I believe this would rather there's a lot on below. I regrowth abilities. Art seemed first to the species as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has yet been determined. The shin rate of which these pale heads regenerate makes a difference to the rate of lethal blow, standard weapon. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we should woefully we will be woefully unprepared to defend ourselves. For these reasons, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all our employees working in shipping and processing, sure that in the event of emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. So, high weapons. There's right. number one. Ooh, listen to that music. Damn, what creepy ass M Michael Myers music? Hazardous materials, all transit with the United States to be made via helicopter, take extreme care during takeoff and landing is shock to the so may potential lead to self -acti -ac activation as we hear at the imprint project center here, thumbs evaluation. Okay. That's creepy. It reminds me of like those uh, vampire movies that have like the humans as like the meals and they drain the blood. Nice. Nice again. Cool. This area is cleared. What's over here? Ooh, there's a health. Nice. Everything is coming up, Millhouse. Oh, that one's done. No more lock picks. Okay. We really are in the end game now. Now, how many of you guys are like mowing down the zombies or kind of avoiding them? Oh, 
step, 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 step. Oh, he's still not dead? There we go. All right. Power that up. Let's open that up. Oh, man. Oh, boy. That's right, she knows exactly what a tyrant is. What's this? Oh, it's a baby something. Oh, I love the music. That is some creepy, creepy shit. It's a more explosive. Let's use our health so that. Go downstairs. What's this do? Oh, I can't do anything with that. Oh, we're going upstairs. This is probably like the most uh, enjoyable science facility in a Resident Evil game. All that bastages. Yes. Thank you for helping us out. Okay. Oh, really? What a shocker. Explosives. I like how you think. Combine that. What do we got here? As long as I'm at half, congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis. Oh, so Nemesis is European. Interesting. Interesting. 
interesting. Parasites is how you control it, but they don't like parasites. Viruses can be kept in check. Okay. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Wow. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Well, then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. Explore medical solutions to this absurd problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, Ph.D. Oh, and that's the first time she hears it, I guess, right? That's kind of cool. Here's the other sample. Exactly. I really need to go to my storage area. That would really help. Oh no. Oh, hell no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn. At least it wasn't one of the tyrants. The tyrants got weird body dysmorphia, huh? T-Virus is somewhat leaked under orders from Dr. Bard. I am to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-Virus antigen. Oh. I should have probably grabbed that before. Why is this still red? What did I miss? It would be great if it was health. I had to admit something. No, see, this is all blue. Now oh, it's right. You see? Do you see? Oh, right in front of me. Nice. Uh, 
Let's go to storage area really fast. Is it upstairs or okay? It's down here. Uh, guess we gotta store that now. Okay. Oh, I got them both. I probably should just save just to be safe. Huh? <laughs> Get it? Damn, number 20. I apologize, guys, for being a scrub. I have also been playing this game a lot longer than most people. See, that's the thing, though. I like to take my sweet-ass time when it comes to these games. I enjoy myself. Ah, so I need one more. Right, maybe combine them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Woo, your boy figured that out. My dyslexia or whatever picked up right there. Alright, here we go. No turning back. Oh, well, that looks like something else, but kids, we don't talk about that. Oh no. Time to skip the facility. Nice. Man, he just does not stop. Better keep going. Better keep going. Ooh. It's one of the first quick time events we've had in this game, right? Like that? Okay. Back to a safe room. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We're about to get into a fight. Oh, we sure as hell are. Yeah, you know you're about to get into a, a stage fight. Alright, so first, what I want to do... Perfect. Yeah, we'll load that up, okay. Got those. 
Alright, so that's the clear room now. So let me check my inventory. What I want to do is this right here, put this right here, and we'll put this right here, this right there. Okay. So what do we got? We got two health sprays, 12 include 12 ammo of rounds, and then two in the chamber for the grenade. One full clip for the mag, some handgun, and four shotgun shells. Do I have anything in storage? Nope. All right, let's save it and let's lucky number 21, my favorite number. Okay, and we're about to see where we're on to the next one here. Okay, let's see. Uh oh. There we go. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the solution process. So a solvent. <laughs> okay, so that's how we kill him. What in God's name is this place? I can't use anymore. If I die, we'll know to put it away. Whether we'll need anything, it just saved too, which means this is it. This is the final confrontation, I believe, my friends. Here he comes, yep. Ooh. Oh no. The city needs that vaccine. More than I do. I don't think wisdom is trying to impart on you. It's getting better. Now I know you can have the price of life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, there for the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat data. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good! Here we go. What an asshole, by the way. Let's get ready to rumble. Ooh. Yo mama. Oh, you're living in the Comancha. Guys, I don't know if this is doing anything. I don't think so. Jill, is that you? Did I kill him? You're okay. Let me, Let me spot, spot for you. you. Oh, uh, no. Carlos, don't spot for me. Send me more ammo. Douche. Oh no, here he comes with that bullshit again. Where? 
Oh man. go delivering a command just leaving everybody tell her goodbye we love her <laughs> we're, we're we're dedicating this to her there he goes acting a fool again Shotgun. Oh, that was a bad one, guys. I need some help. There you go. Oh no, I messed up, guys. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, she got. Oh, did he get me there? Oh, he got me. No. I don't want to steal anymore. Oh, I had him. I suck. See, you can't miss one dodge. Bye, Living Nicole. Oh, I know. Damn it. That's upsetting, guys. I for sure was right there. Damn it. Oh, I'm so pissed. I should have just stuck with the, uh, with the, um, damn mag instead of jumping to the shotgun. Just keep the shotguns for the zombies and, damn, super pissed. We can skip this. Oh man, I've missed so many dodgers. That's how we do that. Oh no!
Damn it! No. <laughs> I have no ammo to fight any one of these. What's this? Shotgun? Need, need ammo, need, need health. I need something that is gonna kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh! I got nothing to kill this guy. There you go. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Yes! Oh, here we go. Damn. Woo. Oh, I had him the first round. He's for sure not dead, though. I have to get that vaccine.
I love that nemesis down question mark exclamation point or exclamation point question mark there you go what's this project title use generation rail gun oh rail gun I wonder what that's gonna be used for Let's give him the finger and problem solve. Packs the firepower we need. It could be even a bit by mobility made problematic. Field perhaps the platform could be fine. Multiple power sources may be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate and see the power source? Number 22. What city was WrestleMania 22 at? Ding, 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 ding. That's right, the wonderful city of Chicago. And speaking of Chicago, thank you guys for joining us here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Super Mercado Bros, the let's play of Resident Evil 3. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. Make sure you guys to follow me on Twitter at Mike and Media and on Instagram at Mike Mercado Media. We're on YouTube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network. If you want to see any of the past let's plays and our playthroughs of other video games, including Resident Evil 3. Here we go. It's done. Give me the vaccine. Oh, no, no, no. You, you I like We ain't done yet. Oh no, this is its final form. She's got this. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. All right, I'm um, uh all right, go. Okay, holy shit, because it's like that. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, that killed me, damn. All right, well, now I know better. What sucks is I don't really have anything strong, I don't think, right? How many times do you think I'm gonna have to do
I'm gonna have to do it, you know, like shoot him maybe twice like three times at like three times in total, but Oh, there's more than... So we're gonna have to do this a few times, I think. Alright, come on, come on! Oh, I almost made it! Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, girl. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Go. Hell yeah. This is down. Love it. So good. Uh, I'll take that. Nice. Can't go that way. I thought they were gonna let you go through that circle. That would have been cool. Through the hole. Did you see attempts to destroy evidence of outbreak? Anything around here? Oh, I can still catch it. No info. There we go. We're in the end game. Oh no! Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Do you have any idea what 
idea what we've just done. No, no. Okay. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to drop off. Ah. The missile has launched. And that is my plan. Goodbye. Shame you didn't listen to me when you were Maybe shoot him, Joe? Jesus. She will. Nice. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City, the Umbrella's ashes too, I would end them, once and for all. Awesome. Wow, what a, what a game. So I wonder if this means that they're just prepping us for Jill and Resident Evil 8. Maybe Jill and Chris back together. Be interesting. So, my thoughts. It, I think it's great. I think it's top tier video game making. I think coming off of Resident Evil 2, it's really a nice little lunch. It's a nice meal. I don't think it's a full four course five course meal you know but i think you get everything you need from it i think it's a great counterpiece to resident evil 2 i think these two games work off well against each other and 
You know, the one thing I enjoy in a Resident Evil game is being able to sit back and really enjoy the atmosphere and kind of just see, just be in the surroundings, be in the world. And RE2 lets you do that. RE3, you feel it and the, the, the chaoticness of it is part of the game and part of the experience and the atmosphere. But you don't get to, like, chill. And it's kind of cool because you have the contrast of the tyrant, right? Where when you're playing RE2, it's especially in the beginning of it, you're definitely feeling, you know, outclassed and, and he feels on another level. In this point, you never feel like you're on, on Nemesis level. You always feel like you're trying just to move forward. But yeah, I mean, 9 out of 10. You know, uh, definitely, I think RE2 is a 10 out of 10. I think this is a 9 out of 10. I think both of these are great pieces. If you're a survival, survival horror fan, must play. If you're an RE fan, must play. If you're right now during COVID-19 coronavirus, if you're looking for something a little bit more morbid to play for your morbid curiosity, this is one of them right there. So, yeah, it's got our stamp of approval here on Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Super Mercado Bros. Appreciate you guys uh, joining us for our Let's Play of Resident Evil 3. I really enjoyed it. So now, personally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check out some of my favorite podcasters and reviewers and some of the more mainstream guys and see what they thought of it. I know a lot of people's complaints was the length of it, but I don't know. I just I, I got a lot out of it. I definitely can see people being a little upset that it was a shorter run through. But, you know, I, I definitely feel like I had a, a full meal. So I think it was worth the price of admission. What did you guys think, though? Let me know on Twitter at MikeMMedia and on Instagram at MikeMercadoMedia. So now let's go down the checklist, huh? I have officially beaten RE1 Remake, RE2 Remake, RE3 Remake, the original release of Resident Evil 4, the original release of RE5, RE6, RE7, and now we get to wait and see the remake of RE4, and of course the main line entry of Resident Evil 8. What would I like to see in RE8? I wouldn't mind a little bit of what we got here, a little bit of the first person, a little, and a lot of the the over the shoulder. I would like much more survival horror. I would like to go back towards what we got in RE7 where, you know, Leon and Jill and Carlos and Claire, they all got OP'd by the time we got to the end of the game. And that's because it's the fantasy of it. Like, you've earned that playing through these games. I think the same happens in RE7. I think the 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 last third of the game is drops off a little bit. It goes from a you know, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, to like a 7 out of 10. Because, you know, you're already getting the assault rifles and everything. Like, I kind of want it to be more, you know, unless you're you're being somebody like, let's say, Chris or Jill, right? You know, a tactical weapons and whatnot, that's great. But I think if you're going to keep going in the, the way, the, the new way and the new road of the RE7 ones, I would like it to be a little bit more tamed back. And then you could go back to the to the God Fantasy in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Let me know what you guys think about that, though. And for those who have asked, I have not played through any of the Silent Hill games. I wish we could get Silent Hills, first of all. But I also wish we could get some proper, really well-made remakes of those, but <laughs> Konami. <laughs> I 
if it's not pachinko machines, right? Shout out to them though, they're making their money. Can't be mad at them. So what's next on the channel? Maybe Final Fantasy VII. Super Mercado Bro Marcos has been playing through it. He absolutely loves it. Maybe when he finishes it, we'll have him on the show and we'll talk about it. But that might be what's next. The problem with that one is there's so much. That's a lot of videos. But maybe that's what you guys want. Let me know. Capcom. Appreciate y'all. Shout out Capcom. Hell yeah, post credit scene. Yeah, I gotta see. Seven hours and 45 minutes and 46 seconds. Okay, yeah, it's definitely short. Clear time of six hours. 35 minutes, 43 seconds. Time saved 22, that's nine. And some of those were bullshit. <laughs> and I got a rank of C. Okay. Let's see what any, we get anything post that, nope. Main screen. Did they change the main screen on us? No. Cool, we got a bunch of concept. Let's check that out. The shop has been unlocked. You can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges. View them in record screen. Oh. Well, that's cool. So let's check out the concept art first, friends. See what we unlock. Carlos, your boy's hair is looking like Carlos too, except not as cool. Nemesis. This is. Do we know the names of these? Some of these pain in the asses. Raccoon City. Joe's apartment. That's cool. I'm not me. Definitely these parts of the game were at its best though, right? When you're on the streets. The hospital was fun too. And of course, every Resident Evil game has got to conclude in the end of the basement. Check out some of the models we got. Hell yeah, we got some cool ones at the end. So we got our girl Jill. Yeah. And then we got Stars gear. Throwback. Brad, who sucks. Shout out. Marvin. Zombie dog. Stage 2 nemesis. Alright, so that's all the ones we got. We didn't get a lot of the models. Alright, let's check out the shop. So, we got 7,460. Gradually regenerates health when held. Carry two to increase the effect. That's kind of cool. Damn, there's giving you everything. Jesus. Hot dagger. As an impels, the umbrella developed anti bio weapon knife is used by those who like to show it off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. Samurai Edge. 
the Samurai Edge, is that Chris's or is that Wesker's? Ooh. Then they got some cool. Oh man, that's fun though. These are the ones that I did. So what do we got? We could do. Defeat 80 enemies with a handgun. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Damn, 200. Really? I didn't. I thought I would have killed more. But it's such a. Uh, uh, a short game and then you're moving back and forth between hey a grenadier named my high school mascot so you know what maybe the next thing we'll do is resistance maybe just to kind of tap off the theme here of resident evil but guys i think that's it for our let's play of Resident Evil 3 here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I've been your host, Mike Mercado. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Mike M Media and on Instagram at Mike Mercado Media. Check out our podcast network if you're into true crime, sports, entertainment, pop culture, interviews with athletes and celebrities. Check us out wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves and do us a huge favor like, rate, review, and share us. It means the world to us, please. You can also check us out on YouTube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network. If you missed any one of our Let's Plays, Doom Eternal, we're going to have all of Resident Evil 3 up as well. We have Jedi Fallen Order, Red Dead Redemption, Spider-Man, all a bunch of stuff. And, of course, everything we have down the pipeline, Mercado Airwaves Network on YouTube.com. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. And, of course, take care of each other. We'll see you next time here on twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Super Mercado Bros. I'm Mike Mercado.